Okay, part two, getting your lab set up. So you've gone through your sheet, you've filled in your hypothesis and your variables. So now you're going to take a look at your bowl of water that you need here, and you're going to need some oil, just a little bit, eighth cup, less than that. And what you want to do is add your food coloring to your oil, about five or six drops you're going to add right to that oil. All right, and then we're going to just carefully notice notice what happens to the food coloring, right? And then we're just going to carefully add that to the top of our water here, okay? We're just going to gently pour it in. We're not stirring it up or anything like that. We're just gently pouring it in, okay? So you'll notice from your directions that your... Um, your food coloring represents toxic chemicals that are found in the oil. Notice what happens to the oil, but also notice what happens to the food coloring, no matter how carefully we've poured it in there. Um, you can see <clears throat> my mixture, if I try and move it with my hand, where the oil is resting right on top here. But notice what has happened to the food coloring, no matter how carefully we pour it in there. Okay, um, so number one asks you to try to scoop the oil out with a spoon. All right, so you're going to use a plastic spoon, regular spoon, and you're going to try to go through and see if you can't scoop some of that oil out, putting it into another container. All right, um, answer the rest of the questions, numbers one and two, um, here on, on your worksheet. All right. Then what you're going to do is take a look at the second page. And the second page asks you to gather a couple of different test materials. And you can choose anything that you think might be an effective cleaning material. Um, <clears throat> cotton ball might be a good idea. Um, piece of paper towel, a newspaper, um, whatever else you think might be a good effective material. And you're going to use those to try to gather up as much oil out of your container as you can and see which ones are most effective and why. All right, don't forget to do the why part. Um, <clears throat> the last thing that it asks you to do is to add a few drops of dishwasher soap. Um, because they're talking about the idea that sometimes officials use a something called a dispersant to um, to break up oil spills. So add some dishwashing soap to whatever oil is left in your container and see what happens to that. And then you're going to answer the conclusion questions on the bottom, scan and submit to Jupiter. Just a quick note, if you are um, able to find a feather and you're going to do the dirty birdies um, activity for uh, later on this week. If, if you're ready, you can go ahead and print that paper. You can use this oil mixture that you already have to do that activity as well. Okay? All right. Good luck.